What's going on? Brian here from A to Z Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Companion with your ATEM Mini Extreme or really a any ATEM switcher. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This is definitely a question that we get asked all the time. I just downloaded the latest version of Companion. So here's the first issue. It's an unknown developer. Let's go ahead and open our settings. Unlock, Let's try it again, open. All right, we're open. Launch GUI. All right, and the latest version as of this video coming out is 2.1.3. Add by manufacturer, Blackmagic Design, Blackmagic Design ATEM, ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And now let's go ahead and grab our IP. Uh, IP you'll want to grab from, come over here to connections, come over here to ATEM setup. There it is, 192.168.198. Apply changes. Okay, status is null. All right, so I guess I just typed in the wrong IP. All right, so where you get your IP address from is not in your ATEM software here, because these could be different. You're gonna to wanna to come up here and go to connection and click ATEM setup. Click here and your IP address should be right there. All right, so now we are connected. Our status says okay right here. Now let's go ahead and import this companion file here. Import companion config. Replace current configuration. Now if I shift click on these, that should be affecting my super source. It doesn't look like it is. Let's see why it is not. Click on one of these buttons. Okay, so all of my buttons here say undefined. So let's come over here to our instances. Looks like we may have lost connection. All right, so my IP address changed when I uploaded that. So it's 168. 198. Apply changes. And we are connected. I'll shift click. All right. And it is working. Super source on that big wall there. You'll be able to see that it is all working. And you'll have to go forward to get to these transition pages. Yep. Cool, so those are all working. Here's another issue that I've seen and I'm trying to answer all of the questions that I've gotten in emails, that I've gotten through consultations as well as problems that we've run into ourselves. And that is, you can see here, my Stream Deck is not showing me my buttons. And if I click, oh, so it's, controlling what's on my uh, computer right now. And, oh, because I pushed that button. But the issue here is that I have the Stream Deck software running in the background. If you could see up here, that the Companion one and the Stream Deck one look very similar, but you can right click on that up there, quit Stream Deck, quit. And now my Stream Deck, it looks like that. I can come over here to surfaces, rescan USB, and boom, I am up. So these macros, people ask questions about this all the time. They're like, what do these buttons do? It, it just calls the macros that you've already built on this ATEM Extreme. There's a couple macros. First five are custom macros. So those just automatically populate with the name of the macro that you have in your ATEM software. And another thing to note when you upload our macros in particular, your first page is gonna be blank, right? 
the, those are just ones that are on this extreme ISO. Those macros are not part of the pack that we're sending out. They'll start here and it's on macro like 48 or whatever. So that's just because we're using up the rest of the macros. So, I mean, if you're gonna put them anywhere, might as well put them as far back as they can go because most people probably start at one when they're creating their own macros. So that is the reason that we did that. People, a lot of times will upload them and then say the buttons don't do anything. Um, that's because by default, all of these boxes will just have a source of black and then there will be no background. So background's black, your sources are black, your super source is just gonna be a black screen. But if I give it a background and then I give my boxes, let's give that camera four and then box four, let's give it my computer screen here, three, All right, and then I can go to any of my presentation looks and boom. Some other things that I see people run into is, let's go do an import. You wanna just import an individual page. So when you import individual pages, if you have other in instances on your companion file, most people do, you just gotta make sure that you click that and then import to page one and then you shouldn't get the NAs that a lot of people say that they're getting. Again, just check and make sure your IP address matches your ATEM Extreme. Make sure you're connected, you're plugged in, you have an ethernet connection and you should be good. So the process may be a little different if you have a brand new stream deck and a brand new Extreme ISO. If you're not getting an IP address from your ISO or your ATEM Extreme, plug it into your computer by USB-C, open up your ATEM software control, and then you should be able to let it assign itself an IP address and then connect it by ethernet and you should be good to go. All right, I know this was a short video, but hopefully that answered everyone's questions and now you know, you're not gonna have an issue connecting Companion to your ATEM Extreme it's a really easy process, um, but there are just some little things that, you know, if it's your first time doing it, it's easy to get stuck and uh, not, not know the easy solution to it. So hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.